And welcome back. We're going to recap day three of the OKC Futurity Finals here in Oklahoma City. I feel like I'm saying OKC so much because we got the OKC Futurity. We're in OKC, and it's like running together. But we're having a great time in Oklahoma. So we have brought to you day – we've brought to you day one, day two. Now we're coming with day three's recaps. Yesterday we ran the MVP Derby second go-round. And what a great second go-round it was because you, you flash back and you talk about these horses are already kind of like open horses. They're looking great. They're doing it the right way. And a new sheriff comes to town, Jamie Hunt, gripe gut. He collects a little over $1,100. He runs a 15-2, and that's one of the fastest times we have seen so far in our arena here at the Jim Nork Arena. So then we go to our – what is the it was the FR, FRG FRG Futurity? Yeah, that's the and, Futurity uh, Riders Guild. The BBR Futurity Riders Guild is a association within BBR where Futurity riders can build points throughout the year for special year-end Futurity awards at the BBR World Finals every year. So that was perfect. It was great deal yesterday. And Molly Odo, wow, what a great run! Hey, I haven't forgot yet. I'm introducing my co-host with me this morning. Hey, here's here's Mark Orman. He's over the media, all the social media that goes up, all the information you see on on media works, and whether it's whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, your chat, he's got it going on. So Molly Odo wins the FRG second go round with that 15 to 30, and wow, 3600 over 3600 dollars collected yesterday, and what an awesome time she had. And and we talked to her yesterday outside, and she was just tickled about that young horse and how well it performed. And then we go from there. So today, what do we got going on? Well, today uh, is we start out the morning at 10 o'clock with the rookie futurity, which is the three-year-olds. A lot of people are familiar with the term juvenile. So this is our version of the juvenile futurity. So this is the second go of the rookie futurity this morning. That takes off at 10 o'clock. At 5 o'clock, we're going to bring you the American qualifier with the sweepstakes. Uh, that's going to be really exciting. We have... Uh, record number of entries in the American tonight so that's gonna be really exciting to see the top 10 that are gonna make it to Fort Worth for the semifinals after the American and the sweepstakes wrap up we go at 7 o'clock to the youth with the junior American qualifier so once again it's gonna be really exciting to see what youth competitors make it through to go to the Patriot to compete for that junior American World Championship as well as that exemption to go to the American at at and and I'm just just for you know, when we start off this morning at 10 o'clock, the three-year-olds, it, it's kind of like a iffy deal. You know, we, we watched them in the first go and their their first go around. And today, I'm gonna it's gonna be surprising whether a lot of them start to figure it out. They're gonna kind of there's gonna be some that are still kind of rookies, and that literally that's why we call it the rookie fraternity. But the exciting thing to remember is in our slot race, which happened the first night here, the slot race was won with one of the record times in this arena for and, this event. And uh, so a three-year-old actually posted up times that are rivaling the Futurity, the Derby, and the Sweepstakes horses. So this round is going to be really, really exciting. Because it will boil down to Tricia Aldridge. And Tricia Aldridge, is, she, ran the, you know, she ran the two to win the slot race. She runs a five in the first go. And right now it's going to come down to those average times. you got to kind of ride safe, but you also want to be fast. So I want you to buckle your seatbelts and enjoy this ride today here on this Saturday. And uh, we're going to get to it. And, Mark, anything in closing? Well, the other exciting thing that we want to talk about was the sale last night. This was the second annual Futurity Prospect sale here in Oklahoma City, and last night was dynamic. The high seller was a Dash to Fame daughter, Chanel and Firewater. She was uh, consigned by Lisa Wells. And beautiful Palomino Philly. She sold for 60000 and she went to... Um, Jason and Courtney Kaiser. So it was that was a really a really exciting sale. We had an amazing group of prospects with some fantastic consigners. Horses sold really well. The excitement was in the air, and our high seller was a Dash to Fame daughter from Lisa Wells for sixty thousand. And and with that, you know, you look at those Dash to Fames. You look at Frenchman's guys. You look at the you look at the Fury of the Winds. These Colts have been doing really good. Not only just this sale, there's been sales all over. And I, I think it's an upcoming year. We're going to look in 2021, and we're going to look up and see a record-breaking year with horse sales, with horses actually competing, running, doing it the, the right way. The other thing that's really we have to remember today is this is our last event of the second go. So after today, we're going to know what horses are going to make it to final Sunday tomorrow. 
in the futurity, the top 40 go back. Those are already determined. Same way with the Derby. The Derby is already determined. So now we just have to figure out which set of three-year-olds we're going to see tomorrow for Sunday finals here at OKC. Well, well, Mark Orman, thank you for joining us here today at our day three recap. I want you to stay tuned. We'll come back with day four's recap. We're getting this underway at 10 a.m. Join us at www.vizworks.com. For all of the results so far through the event, they are listed on the OKC Futurity website, which is www.okcfuturity.com. Just a reminder for any of the results and also for the postings on who's making the short go, those won't be posted here outside of the office. They will be online only. So make sure that you're checking online to see if your Colt made the finals. That's why I'm glad I brought Mark in today. Thank you for joining us. Day three recap. Thank you, everyone.